Hello, my name is Vebavir Gary, and I'm a lead data scientist for the data science team here at TIPCO. Hello, and my name is Tomasz Jurczyk, and I'm data scientist in TIPCO as well. Today, we would like to show you the demo around anomaly detection and root cause analysis using edge analytics. It's an example of how predictive models and advanced analytics can be deployed throughout the digital ecosystem to extend data science capabilities beyond internal uh, business services and out to the edge to create a network of connected intelligence. Let us describe the business problem first. In our use case, we are detecting anomalies in manufacturing plant equipment and identifying key driving factors to determine the root causes of these anomalies. In addition to that, we are analyzing maintenance log files to generate recommended next best action. We are using mainly containerized services. Why? Uh, because they provide um, possibility to deploy AI on the edge, particularly beneficial where internet connectivity is not available. And full disconnected containers provide greater flexibility to have control over the data and provides high throughput. We are using two pieces of technology, TIPCO tools and Microsoft services. We are using two Microsoft services, Azure Machine Learning Anomaly Detection Service and Key Phrase Extraction Service. And we are using them in two forms. One is cloud service, and the second one is containerized service. Typical components are using and triggering these services. So Tipco Data Science integrates at scale data science operations with these services. And concerning Tipco Spotfire, we have created the whole uh, equipment maintenance application, which adds root cause analysis based on output of anomaly detection containerized service and recommended actions based on output from Microsoft K phrase extraction containerized service. This is what we will be showing in a demo in a minute. But before that, let us look at architecture diagram first. Webav, can you describe it for us? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Tomas. So the solution is developed in two phases. Uh, we have a company who has power plants scattered across the country and has its headquarters based off a city where the central data science team sits. So the analyst at the headquarter uses the TIPCO data science platform to detect anomalies on historical data from all sites by calling the anomaly detection service from Azure ML. The visual backed data science at scale workflow produces scored data, which serves as an artifact for the maintenance engineer to carry along to the remote site. The containerized services are called in TIPCO Spotfire via Python data function feature and transformed into a reusable artifact. Once at the site, the maintenance engineer detects anomalies using containerized cognitive services for the Microsoft plus leverages decision intelligence embedded in TIPCO Spotfire to perform root cause analysis. Here, we dig a level deeper and the results of the key phrase extraction we have used to determine recommended actions through further processing of key phrases. We can think of this as an analogy of root cause analysis sitting on top of the containerized AI ML services. Next, we're gonna move on to the demo. So the analyst at the headquarter uses the typical data science platform to create a visual machine learning workflow. As we can see here, uh, we have the power plant data and uh, below are the timestamp and the sensor readings. We are interested in detecting anomalies in the sensor production per minute. So we go through a series of pre-processing steps before detecting anomalies and these anomalies are detected by calling the anomaly detection service uh, from uh, Azure ML. As we can see that the anomalies detected are then exported to a Spotfire binary data format, which helps in faster loading of the data in typical Spotfire platform. We now move on to the phase two of the solution uh, where uh, the maintenance engineer carries this scored data to the remote site. Before we reach to the site, here we will be doing a role play where I will be playing the role of a maintenance engineer and my colleague Tomas will be the site supervisor. Hello Webaf, glad to have you down at our site. I was wondering if you could help us to detect anomalies 
uh, one of sensors in our plant, we have been seeing some dodgy numbers in production per minute value, and we would like to inspect it further. Hello, Thomas. It's great to be down at the site itself. I hope we can detect anomalies and uh, possibly help you find the root cause of it using our equipment maintenance dashboard, which is running on TIPCO Spotfire. Great. Let me dive straight in. I help you ingest the data we have collected. Thanks, Thomas. That would be helpful. Now that we have the data in Spotfire, let's get started by detecting anomalies. So Wait, uh, I did want to remind you that we are in the middle of nowhere and we don't really have an internet connection. Well, the good news is that we can now perform anomaly detection and root cause analysis at the edge without needing an active internet connection using visual back data science at scale from TIPCO Spotfire and Microsoft's containerized AI ML services. Oh, wow. This is a lifesaver, so let's get started. So here we have an option to select uh, the metric that we want to detect anomalies on and I assume you said that you were interested in further inspecting the production per minute. Yeah. The granularity level is by minute and now we can just go ahead and detect anomalies. Nice. Can you walk me through what I'm seeing here? Sure. So starting from the visual at the top, we have the timestamp on the x-axis and the original values from the data you provided in blue and the expected values coming from the anomaly detection containerized model in orange. The visual below is an extension to the first one. We have the timestamp on the x-axis and the difference between the original values and the expected values in the y-axis. Oh, this is very interesting. So what are these red dots? Feels like a lot going wrong down there. Great question, Tomas. The red dots are the anomalies detected by the anomaly detection container. Oh, wow, this, is, this view is very helpful for me. I can see a few of the anomalies in some time windows that I'm interested to investigate further. Can we do that? Absolutely. We can now dig a level deeper to understand the root cause of these anomalies detected. What time window are you interested in? Maybe you could choose one around this first bulk of anomalies. Let's get started. So we'll go ahead and select this time window. And hit the root cause analysis button. Great. So was it, what is this now? So let me walk you over this part. At the bottom left, we can see from the key driving factors that the waste gas, barrel pressure sensor, and the one differential sensors are driving the anomalies in production per minute sensor in this specific time window. Cool. Are you saying that you can find the sensors uh, that are causing these anomalies in PPM? Yes, that is correct. Uh, these are really good insights. L looking at this, I remember my maintenance engineer crew was pretty busy around this period. Do you think there could be any correlation between these anomalies and the maintenance action taken by my crew? Let's find out. So I see that there are a few logs leading up to the window you specified. We can now dig a little deeper and analyze these logs by finding the key phrases from them. Yes, sorry to interrupt, but does this also not require internet connection? No, it does not. We are running all of this analysis in a totally disconnected environment. So you can see here that your crew found a problem in the barrel pressure sensor. They seem to indicate that restarting the sensor got it working again. You can also observe that there was one engineer who has recommended that this sensor unit be replaced and five other engineers uh, have gone ahead and just restarted the sensor unit. Oh, are you implying that restarting the sensor unit was a temporary fix? If so, this makes sense uh, as the first recommended action by the manual is to restart this unit. And if it works, uh, it's to be observed. So it looks like uh, that's what they have done. Yes, absolutely. But looks like through this equipment maintenance dashboard, the right action to be taken is to actually replace the sensor unit, which one of the engineers actually suggested. Oh, this, this was eye-opening. I will definitely go ahead and inform my crew and perform corrective action. Thank you so much, Weber. You're welcome, Tomas. As you can see, we went from 
collecting data at the site itself to detecting anomalies and finding root cause to finally recommending a corrective action all at the site itself without the need of an active internet connection. If you would like to inspect anomalies from different sites, we could also look at that. Yeah, maybe later, but uh, this was very helpful. Uh, I have one final question. Can we select also a different time window and a different sensor to detect anomalies and find root cause in other scenario? We absolutely can. You can see here that we have a drop down box here, uh, which allows you to select any sensor that you're interested to detect anomalies on. Also, you can select a different time window at the bottom here to further inspect these anomalies. Hey Buff, it, it was a pleasure having you here uh, and thank you for showing how we have created a digital ecosystem out of technologies from TIPCO and Microsoft and how we use data from that ecosystem to identify anomalies with machine learning models deployed at the edge.